27 children with type 1 diabetes now have life-changing devices which will help them better control their diabetes, reduce hospital visits, and give their parents peace of mind. The Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago says with these continuous glucose monitors, the children will no longer need to stick their fingers to monitor their blood sugar levels. If you don't have a CGM, you need to stick your finger probably, probably 5, 10, 15, 20 times a day. So for most adults, they don't even want to stick their finger once a week. These children need to stick them themselves multiple times a day. It's a lot of pain, it's a lot of anguish, a lot of cost for the parents. With a CGM, the parents can remotely monitor their children from any location. Once there is an internet connection, the blood sugar reading goes directly to the parents' cell phone. You all now have the ability to sleep all night and not worry that your child's blood sugar is going too low or too high. Because if it is going too low or too high, you're going to get an alarm which is going to wake you up. According to Dr. Danu, within their network, there are approximately 150 children living with type 1 diabetes. He explains type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease which is not caused by poor diet or lack of exercise. It's a rare disease, so there are only about 200 to 300 children that we know of in Trinidad and Tobago living with type 1 diabetes. However, type 2 diabetes, which is the adult onset, which we often associate with being overweight, being not eating properly, not exercising enough, adult onset diabetes, we are seeing more and more children with adult onset diabetes. The DAT president is concerned, though, by the rise of type 2 diabetes in adolescents particularly children under the age of 10. The last survey that was done was a dual school-based health survey. We saw about a third of all children in primary schools are either overweight or obese. So that is leading to a lot of type 2 diabetes. The Diabetes Association will be tracking the 27 children with the continuous glucose monitors for the next six months. Dr. Danu says the CGM costs on average 12,000 TT per year per child. They are encouraging corporate sponsors to come on board so more children with type 1 diabetes can benefit from these life-saving devices. Karen Kozia-Philip, TTT News.